Hi, this is Professor Slaughter, and for those of you who are interested in taking your test at home rather than um, taking them in the testing center or uh, making an appointment in the study hall or with me, um, I want to jump into Blackboard and show you the real easy way that it takes to validate your identity. So the whole purpose, that we're, the reason why I'm doing this is, is because we know that um, there are students who sign up for online classes and then they ta have members of their family take the test for them and it's just not fair for those students who work hard for their degree and um, then they get the same, you know, then somebody who gets somebody else to take their test gets the same degree that they do and it's just, so this is one way of getting ahead of it. Um, the school offers proctoring for tests, but right now that's $15 per exam and I just don't think I want to pass those costs on to my students. So, so we're going to use Blackboard Collaborate to take tests and this is how we do it. So when you log in, and I'm going to log out so that I'm going in just the way you do, when you get to the TCC website and you click on My TCC, I'm going to log in and my screen may look a little different from yours of course, but uh, click on Blackboard and I'm going, to, I'm going to go into Introduction to Business um, as an example, but all the classes that I teach are uh, set up the same way. So in this particular case, we are clicking on Introduction to Business. And then you'll notice that there in the, the last row of the navigation, um, or the last link in the navigation structure, there's something called Online Office Hours Test Rooms. So you're going to click on that. And then you're going, to in, you're going to find that there's all sorts of rooms in here. Well, how do you know which one is the one you're using? Well, you're going to change, you're going to make sure that your start date is today and your end date. 1016 is certainly okay. Um, the rooms are open until um, December 18th, I believe. And you can hit go. It's going to bring up all the rooms. All right. And then you're just going to type in your last name. All right, and then you'll see your session come up with your name, and this one's mine, and it's just a little test session that I created uh, to for the purpose of creating this video. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click on your name. It's going to take you to some room details. And you'll see that there's a button here called Join Room. Now, if you have been in, working in Blackboard before, you shouldn't have any problem getting in. There is a possibility that you'll need to uh, download some additional plugins. Uh, if you have any problems with it, make sure you get this done well in advance of the test so there's no issues. I would recommend that you do this now um, so that when you need to have something validated, um, it's real easy for you to do that. Okay, so. Um, you click on join room and if your computer is configured correctly it's going to download the collaboration session into your system and it should go ahead and run it. Now it does take a little bit of time for the collaboration section to open up so just because something doesn't happen right away after you hit join room doesn't mean that you should panic or that you should think that something is wrong. So I'm waiting here a little bit and it looks like something's happening but I haven't seen anything yet. Alright, so I'm going to go down here to where my downloads are showing and I'm going to click open. Now if you can't open the, the room then you'll probably have to download that Blackboard Collaborate launcher and there's a link for that. Okay, so here we go. It verifies your application into Blackboard and it's connecting uh, with Blackboard Collaborate. Okay, a little marquee comes up. Okay, and then what you see, basically this is an online classroom, and then for those of you who are taking online classes, um, you're, you may already be familiar with this. Okay, so there's a couple of things that you need to know. First of all, when I set up these sections for the students, I made the students one of the moderators, which means you have full control of this room just like I have full control. So you'll notice over on the left it will um, list your name and it'll raise your hand because that's how I have it set up. So you can click on the hand and put your little hand down. 
And then in order to make sure that you can that you can get your validation done for testing and for other things that we might use this for, um, let me show you a few things here. Okay, so right here is the video button. And when you click on that video button, you're actually transmitting video from your web camera. So it, you want to make sure that you don't have anything crazy going on in the background. Um, and so the way that you preview is you actually hit this preview button, which is to the right of the video camera. Okay. And then what that does is that will turn on your video camera so that you can at least see if your camera is working. If your preview fails, then you can go up here to this little um, drop down menu and you'll read through the list and you'll come to something called camera settings and you can select your camera and you can display the participant name you need to leave that there um, but this way you can kind of make sure that everything is set up properly and um, it's pretty easy to set up I haven't had um, very many students have a problem with it if you do don't, that's why we don't want you to wait till the last minute so we can make sure this is done right so you can see in the video that my webcam is on preview so that means that blackboard is not recording anything so I can kind of play around with it a little bit um, since I know my preview is working if I want to I can go ahead and start streaming my video into blackboard and basically what that would mean is that anybody who's live in your room right now they would be able to see what you're streaming through your your webcam but you'll see you're in there all by yourself and the only two people that have access to your room are you and me so I won't probably be in there unless you know I'm in there you'll see me in the list and nobody else has access so what you can do you can play around with it a little bit um, you can also come up here to your drop down menu and do an audio setup wizard and make sure that your your audio is set up properly and then if you want to you can go ahead and um, stream your video so make sure you don't have any craziness going on in the back all right and you'll notice when you hit video it'll say your name it'll show your name in the video and then what I want you to do to validate your in identity is I just want you to hold up your student ID I'm trying to get it away this is what I call my Java shot because I've lost a lot of weight since this picture was taken and then um, test your camera make sure everything's working make sure everything can be read you might want to make sure that you can I can actually see your name on your ID okay all right everything's good okay but up to this point nothing's been recorded so what you're gonna do when you're ready to validate your identity then you can go over to the right hand side of your screen which says record and you're gonna push the record button and then you'll see a little warning that comes up that says start resume recording so want to start recording and then from this recording moment started. on blackboard is actually collecting your video so you're gonna hold up your ID and you're gonna make sure that I can see your ID and your ID number kind of angle it in right okay as long as I can see your picture you don't have to give me an ugly face and then all you're gonna do is turn off the recording recording stopped. recording stopped you heard the little automated message that says recording has stopped and you're done preparing blackboard for taking your test okay so I'm gonna go ahead and log out of here so I can show you where this shows up so when I close this I'm getting out of the room all right and then I'm gonna go back ah, it won't let me do it okay so when I go back into the classroom it's taking a minute to log back into blackboard and you will actually be able to check just check this yourself and make sure that it uh, collected your uh, student ID all right let me log back into blackboard Let's see if you'll let me do this ah uh, it's TCC and it's running so slow and I'm on a TCC computer oh man all right so it's just taking a long time all right, so I'm going to exit all the way out, and hopefully I'll be able to get back into Blackboard, no problem. Let's try it again.
if I'm trying to record my video and Blackboard's down, I'm just going to lose it. Okay. Let's try it again. Look at it. There we go. There's Blackboard. Click into the classroom that you're in. Click on the online office hours test rooms. And the only thing you're going to do differently this time is you're going to click on recordings. And then you're going to search for your name. Now you can actually see that there is a five second and or in that it says five minutes, one second. That's got to be an old one. Let me see if I've got any other recordings. Ah, there's two. All right, because the one I did earlier, I'm not going to show you that one. In fact, I'm going to delete that one right now. So I can click that box and delete. Confirm I want it deleted. Okay, so what I can do um, afterwards is I can actually click on your section and it will download your validation. And so when I open that up, Should to, and, you know, every time you deal, deal with anything with Blackboard board Collaborate, it takes a little bit of time. So you're going to get this starting application thing that actually popped up on my other display. All right, so then Blackboard Collaborate starts. And you'll notice that there's no record buttons on the upper right hand side because this is actually the recording. So there's my uh, recording. And then I cut my video off. I actually deleted the wrong one. So that gives you an idea of how to find your recording. Just make sure that the recording that you leave in here is the one that you want to leave in here. And um, that'll give you a, a way to check and make sure that your validation went through. So that's, that's what we're doing here. If you have any problems, let me know. I know a lot of you like to take your test at home. And so when you, um, when it's time for you to actually take the test, you will pull up your test room that you've already done your validation, right? So you'll see that the end date on this is Friday, December 18th. So you, we can use this room over and over. So when you're ready to take your test, you won't have to have your student ID with you again because we already have a recording of that. You're going to hit um, the title and you're going to join the room. And I'll remind you when I give you the test what you need to do, but you should really get your validation done as early as possible to make sure that you're going to be okay to take the test. If you um, take the test in the testing center, your, uh, your identity can be validated there. All right, so when you take your test, what you'll basically do, because you've already recorded the cap, you've already captured your student ID and your picture. So then all you have to do when you get ready to take your test is turn your video camera on and then record. Recording started. And then basically you'll just work at your desk or wherever you're working and you'll take your test and you know, you'll have your pen and you'll be doing your test. So most of what I probably will see is the top of your head. But um, it gives me an, uh, it's, it gives me a way to make sure that the students that are taking the classes are actually taking the test. And then um, you'll take your test, you'll submit it. While you have this running, you can also pick up, you can also run other programs. So for those of you that are going to be taking tests um, using online software, let's say with Connect, um, you can see that I have no problem jumping between, um, I have no problem jumping between um, Blackboard Collaborate and um, Connect. So this is, uh, you would just go into your section. So shouldn't be a big deal. Um, and if you have any questions, get this validation part done early and do it the week before your test is going to be due and you should be in good shape. All right, take care. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.